Hey boys and girls, and welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories here at Valley View Baptist Church. Tonight, we're going to be hearing from Miss Kelly Carter. Hi boys and girls, I'm so glad that you're here tonight, and I want to let you know that I've missed you, and I love you guys, and I hope to see you soon. So I'm here tonight to bring us our Bible story for this evening. What has been your favorite story so far? I liked that one too. There's been so many good ones. So thank you for watching them and um, listening very carefully. Tonight's story is gonna be about Jacob's ladder. Now, if you remember, Jacob's name means deceiver and he tricked his brother out of his inheritance. And so therefore his mother made a plan for him to run, to get out of there so that his brother would not get him and kill him because he was that angry. So he went to stay with his uncle, but he had to travel a long way and he had to leave his friends, his family, everything he knew he had to leave. And he was always afraid that Esau was behind him. And so with a heavy heart, he just kept walking and walking. And then he ended up in a place called Bethel, which means the house of God. What does Bethel mean? the house of God, that's right. And he found a rock and he was so tired and he put his head on the rock. Now you and I, we sleep on a pillow, but poor Jacob, he had to sleep on a rock. And as he was laying there looking up into the stars, he felt bad. He felt bad that he had tricked his family, his brother, his dad, and how he was so alone and he just wanted to be comforted. And so he, prayed to God and he just asked God to forgive him and he just wanted God's presence. So finally Jacob fell asleep and he had a dream. Do you want to hear about the dream? He had a dream about a big golden ladder. Now not just a ladder like you would on a fire truck or to ladder to get a cat out of a tree. No, a huge, tall ladder. This ladder was gold, and it was from the ground all the way up to heaven. It was huge, and there was angels coming up and down the ladder. So Jacob is seeing all this, and who do you think was at the very top of the ladder? God, that's right. And Jacob was able to talk to God, God himself. We, can't, we can talk to God in our prayers, but we also have God's word and he speaks to us through his Bible. And that's how we communicate with God is by praying and reading his word. But Jacob got to talk to him. And Jacob was told by God that God forgave him and that he loves him and that he also was going to be with him forever and he was going to bless him. And so that's, um, that gave Jacob comfort and that helped him so much to know that he had God's presence. Jacob woke up from his dream and he looked around thinking, where's the ladder? Where's the angels? And it was gone, but he could tell that the presence of the Lord was there. There was just a scent, a smell, a feeling of comfort, and he knew. Now God has given us a ladder the ladder, which is Jesus Christ. And it's so important that you know that you have a way to heaven. So after um, Jacob got up, he wanted to make an altar and he took that rock that he used and he poured oil over it. And he said, this is the house of God, Bethel. That's what that means. So make sure you remember that. And if you aren't sure that you are gonna to go to heaven one day, if you're not gonna climb God's ladder, you need to talk with your mom and dad tonight because that's so important. Thank you so much for listening, boys and girls. I'm so glad you got to hear the story of Jacob and his ladder. And I pray for each one of you and have a good night's sleep. Wow, thank you so much, Miss Callie. Even when we mess up, I'm so thankful that God is faithful to forgive us. Thanks for listening and tuning in, and we will see you guys Monday.